Hello everyone, I'm Matt Jordan and welcome to this Retro Rolling production. This Retro Recall is from 2020. We do these Retro Recalls at the end of the year just to recap on what we've been doing. It starts off with one of Mr Heritage's scrambles. I absolutely love coming to this place. Amazing machinery everywhere, beautiful surroundings and the photo opportunities are amazing. The quality of vehicles on show is phenomenal. The businesses that are associated with Vista Heritage are second to none. We like coming here with our classics, especially to the Super Scrambles. Everything sort of ground to a halt. Myself, I was furloughed early in the year. Wasn't furloughed for long. But the time I had, the classic community, it really shone through. With my spare time, I started to concentrate on my artwork again and really pushing forward with retro rolling. The photography and the video footage, the editing, and even the music I do myself. This is all put together uh, for our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, and now obviously YouTube. The cartridge art that you can see on screen at the moment, this relates to a hobby, a pastime. I used to love doing these types of artworks years ago. So in lockdown, I started doing them again. It's very relaxing, it's very it's time consuming, but it's really rewarding. These do come in handy for promoting things and uh, obviously the logos for Retro Rolling, um, the merchandise that we produce for the classic community. I've produced logos for other people as well. I won't say who they are, but you'll know what they are. I've done quite a few commissions now for a lot of people. Quite well known people as well. If you'd like one of your classic, get in contact. The classic community in St. Leeds is absolutely huge. The amount of people locally to me in my hometown of St. Leeds that have classic vehicles, some beautiful, beautiful cars, is amazing. We hold our breakfast meets on the last Sunday of every month through the summer. It's at the Riverside Park in St. Mears on the River Ouse. The breakfast meets have grown and grown over the last four years and we're completely outgrowing the actual Riverside car park lockdown, uh, which is easing. Um, put a great big full stop on my plans for 2020. Um, we were going to have different venues we were going to have um, meets with other clubs we were going to have track days we were going to have lots and lots of other stuff going on but obviously that ground to a massive hole now things are looking better these plans that were going to take effect in 2020 will now take place in 2021 and really fast forwarding in 2022. Everybody loves our breakfast meets. Even the mayor of St. Nia said how fantastic they were. The next one is coming up soon. I really can't wait for that. It's great to get together with everybody. Last year at the breakfast meets, we did um, live feeds 
as we walked around and that went down really well. We will be doing that again for the remaining breakfast minutes of 2021. It's great to get all the comments coming in and being able to talk to people live. I would like to do that on YouTube um, and once the subscriber count goes up we will move from Facebook to YouTube uh, to do the exact same thing. This is one of my favourite pictures. I absolutely love that picture. My Sierra 4x4. Paul Wilmot's Portina. That's now been sold. I should have bought that. I really should have bought it. Oh well. You win some, you lose some. Now, before I bought the Sierra, I did want to buy one of these. So last year, we were invited to have a stand at the classic drive-in at Mr. Heritage. What an absolutely fantastic show that was. We had an absolutely brilliant time. The track action <laughs> was, was amazing. It's a bit like uh, one of the super scrambles if you've ever been. Um, the classic car park as well. That was brilliant. At this point, I uh, was still looking for a car. I hadn't bought my Mark 1 Escort at this point. Um, it was really tempting when walking around the auction that was taking place on the Sunday. Uh, there were some really nice cars in there and um, it was very, very tempting to buy something. I've got quite a bit of the footage from the track action actually. Um, I'll put them on the YouTube channel later on. Here are some of the cars that were hammering it around the track. This Cortina here is Simon's Cortina. It's Concourse, Concourse Plus. Forget eating your dinner on it, you could do surgery on that car. This is Sean Rainford's new purchase, an absolute rocket. It's one of the car trees I did for a friend's birthday. Paul Wilmot, whose Cortina you see earlier, this is a scooter he restored. A car tree I've done for Paul Linford. Andy Rouse's Freedom. Back to my 4x4 again. Another thing I started doing in 2020 was um, running Russell Lord's Ford group. It's going really well. What a talented man. An absolute gentleman and a true true craftsman thank you everybody for your support over the years it's most appreciated if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up and a share and if you'd like to leave a comment it'd be most appreciated coming up in the next few videos will be this beauty my mark 1 gt and some rolling shots take care everyone